Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can scrape competitors on YouTube for unlimited content ideas or just some research. The first step is we're going to sign up to Appify, which is a free platform that will help us scrape. Then I'm going to show you which YouTube scraper to use. Then I'm going to show you how to use it, whether by search term or direct channels. And that gives you the views, the URL of the videos, the number of likes and the duration of the video, and then how you can download it. For all these steps, including links, you can head to my school community, which is under Automation Coach. The link is below. And here you can find all the details step by step, including links to what I'm talking about today. The first step is to head to appify.com. That's A-P-I-F-Y.com. It is free to get started. On the top right hand side, you will see something that says sign up and you can do that for free and you get five dollars of free credit per month. Once you sign up, you'll come to a page that looks like this. But the first thing you need to do is we need to look for what's called an actor or something called a scraper. So after you sign up to Appify, you'll land on a page like this and we need to go to the store. And here we're just going to search for YouTube scraper. You'll see there's many results, but the one we want is at the top here. And once you're in, it's very easy. There are some settings to choose. And the first thing you want to choose is, are you going to search for videos by search term or channels? What do I mean by that? Well, on YouTube, you can just search for videos. So let's say YouTube marketing, and we could just scrape all the results from a search. Or if you already know the channels that you want to scrape from, you can put in the channel URL and just scrape from their videos list here which I'm going to show you now. So in Appify, here we are, we've got the YouTube scraper, we've clicked into it. The first setting it's going to say is search terms. So if you want to search for something, you can do that and you just press add and that's done. Or I think when you first get it, it actually has a default uh, search term here and you just want to press the X to remove it. The next setting is how many videos would you like to scrape? So going back to our example here, if this was a channel ID or if it was a search term, well, how many of these do you want to scrape? And the more you scrape, the more credits it will use up. That's up to you. Let's say five. And just bear in mind, if that you are going to scrape from a channel ID it, or multiple channel IDs, it will be five videos from each channel. You can also do shorts and streams. So if you want to do a search term, you add it up here. If you want to do a channel, this is where you put it. So for example, for automation coach, and I use the word competitor lightly because in this space, I find it very collaborative and I'm more than happy to shout out credit to these guys who are fantastic and that you should subscribe to. That's Nick Sarov, Stephen Pope, Jack Roberts and AI Foundations. So these are the channels I'd like to get information from. So here you can see I've just put in the link to their channel forward slash videos, and that will land you on this page here. Once you're on there, you can then decide to add some filters. But before I show you that, there are some options where you can scrape subtitles as well if you want. Or here we've got filters. Now these filters only work if you are doing the search term method at the top here. It doesn't work if you're doing the channel. So if you're doing search term and you're scraping it via this way, you can use these filters here to change the sort order, for example, by rating or view count, the date filter, today, this week, this month, video type filter, length filter, and lots of feature filters there as well. If you are scraping by channel, well then you've got some options too. For example, when do you want the video to have been published? So in this case, I've set the date as I only want videos since the 1st of June onwards. Or you can do it a different way, which is videos from the last 60 days. Or you can sort by newest popular and oldest. So one thing you might want to do, if you just want to see what are the best videos in the last six months from each channel, is sort by popular. And that's really it. The run options, don't worry about this too much. And just so you know, it would cost $5 to scrape 1,000 videos. Appify gives you $5 of free credit every month. And because we've set the maximum videos here at five, and we're going to look at one, two, three, four channels, so 20 videos, it's going to cost way less than five dollars. So we're going to run it now and we'll see what happens. So once you press save and run, you'll, you'll see it usually takes around one minute to start seeing results. It depends on how many videos you're trying to get and or how many channels. OK, I paused the video. It took 48 seconds to get all of the ones that I asked for. And I'm going to show you what that looks like now. So after you finish and you do need to wait, it will appear in the output here, this sort of preview table. But just bear in mind that this preview table may not show all the different fields available. But here you can see the title of the video, the ID, the link to the video, the view count, 
the date it was published, the likes, the channel, the channel URL, the number of subscribers it has, and the duration of the video. And the total cost of that cost 10 cents of free credit. Now we're going to talk about downloading this information so that you can do whatever you want to it. You just press export 20 results and you can download it in any different way. For example, by JSON, CSV, XML, Excel, HTML table, RSS, JSONL. So for example, if you wanted it as Excel, you could do that or CSV. And you can also decide which fields you want to include. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, head to Automation Coach School Community where you can see this lesson plan step by step, including links to where you can get Appify, the YouTube scraper. In my next video, I'll be showing how you could set this up to run automatically.